All right, so this is Volti. This is an accessory for Leatherman tools and also a keychain multimeter. And what we're going to do here is we're going to open up this Leatherman signal. Uh, Volti is compatible with quite a few uh, different Leatherman models on the market here. So we're going to remove our fancy Phillips flathead bit here, set that aside, and we're going to insert the Volti. And now what we can do is we can articulate with the arm here and essentially the whole Leatherman becomes a multimeter where the metal part is negative and this little tip here is your positive. So if you work in the computer industry you might be familiar with this. This is a 3 volt CR232 battery and this side is positive. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the negative side on the Leatherman and then we're just going to pull in our little probe here and we're going to get a voltage reading. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Ooh, 3.2. One, two, three. One, two, three point two volts. Test good. So let's see uh, what happens when we do it on a, this is a pretty bad battery. If you stick this one on your tongue, the old school method of testing doesn't even really tickle. So let's see what's going on with this. So we're gonna kind of swoop this in here and we're gonna get the little boot animation. One, two, three, four, five point Oh, just five volts. And you can see this one sagging because now we got 4.1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 4.5. And we can see it's just going down and down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. 4.1. So this one's sagging really bad. So it's kind of cool. It, it does induce some load on the cells that you're testing just to be sure because 9 volts can be deceiving. It can look good on the multimeter, but once you induce load on it, you'll see a huge voltage drop. So what do you do if you don't have a Leatherman? You can actually use Volti directly from your keychain here. So I got an old uh, motorcycle battery that has seen better days. Let's get a voltage reading real quick and see if it's capable of starting a motorcycle. One green, 10. Point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten point nine 10.9 volts, that is not enough to start a motorcycle. Let's try something much bigger. We are currently uh, jumping some power over into this four battery uh, flooded lead acid cell here and we got Volti already set up over here so let's see what the voltage is here after it does its next next boot there we go one green 10 11 12 13 for both and then red oops so it's just exactly 13 volts let's see if we can watch this go up in real time one two three for both 13 volts point one oh, point two nice 